Hello, this is the TradeSite US uh, Forex Market, uh, sorry, this is the TradeSite Forex Market Preview and International Economic Data Roadmap for the week beginning Sunday the 21st of April and ending Friday the 26th of April 2019. Hope you had a decent trading week. Obviously, we were closed on Friday for Good Friday here in the US, although Europe, uh, Switzerland and Canada and the US were closed. European countries are mostly closed on Monday, the day after Easter, instead of Good Friday. Um, so we'll see what happens. Uh, we're not going to make calls going into Sunday night, going into Monday, just because most of the ones closed. So uh, here's a look at the U.S. dollar in this index. This is the daily chart of the broad market in uh, in the dollar index. And, you know, again, there's kind of a long base here. I'd love to say, well, we might break out. But at the same time, what you really see is that we've been sitting here for six months and really pretty much in the same area for almost nine months, and it's just really uneventful. Here's the euro dollar. Not much here. It's the inverse of the dollar index. Here's the pound dollar. Uh, this is literally where it was a year ago. That's how unexciting that is. Um, here's the uh, Aussie dollar, also flat since September. I mean, literally, this is where we were in September. I mean, this is how bad Forex has been. So narrow. We need some kind of global economic something. The euro yen, this is where it was back in August of last year. I'm talking about eight or nine months there. The pound yen uh, a year ago, going on 10 months plus. Uh, the pound switch. I mean, it is what it is. There's there, All these things have gone nowhere for a while. We'd like to see some better movement in Forex. We're not getting it right now. Um, it's not summer yet, so we still should have some opportunities. We just show up every week. And do what we can in terms of uh, the interweek action. Here's the euro dollar. So, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday flat. I mean, literally in a 50 pip range for five, three days. Finally dropped on Thursday, and then Friday, of course, flat because of the Good Friday thing. And the whole range for the week is 110 pips. It's horrible. Pound dollar uh, range high to low for the week is um, 140 pips, and that's not very interesting. Remember. They both trade about 130 pips per day on average normally. So, again, there's nothing to see here. There's no signals. There's no patterns. This is not something where there's something uh, looming for us to trade off of on the daily charts or the intraweek action. All right. In terms of uh, economic data coming out this week, let's take a look at it. So, again, you know, Monday, everybody's on bank holiday, so we won't make calls Sunday night. Uh, we do have existing home sales here in the U.S. Remember, the U.S. stock market is open on Monday, and then credit card spending out of New Zealand at 11 at night. And then we get into so the week starts really for Tuesday. Uh, Bank of Japan, of course, CPI, wholesale inventories out of Canada, housing price index here in the U.S. at 9 a.m. Eastern time on Tuesday. Consumer confidence, new home sales, Richmond manufacturing index at 10. CB leading index out of Australia at 10.30 a.m. Eastern time on Tuesday. Uh, CPI out of Australia, trimmed, I don't know what the trimmed mean CPI, but it's a version of the CPI out of Australia, again, 9.30 p.m. on Tuesday night here in the U.S. All industries activity out of Japan, Credit Suisse economic expectations, German IFO business climate. Uh, we got the ECB economic bulletin, public sector net borrowing out of the U.K., German 10-year bond auction, CB leading index out of China. Uh, Canada's got their uh, Bank of, I'm sorry, yeah, the Bank of Canada rate announcement. So it's basically the Canadian Fed announcement at 10 a.m. Eastern time Wednesday morning. Crude oil inventories here in the U.S. at 10.30. Uh, we got their press conference out of the Bank of uh, Canada. And then Australia and New Zealand take another day off this week for some other bank holiday. And then we got the rate announcement out of the Bank of Japan at 11.15 a.m. on uh, Wednesday. So rate announcements out of Canada and Japan while New Zealand and Australia are closed. That could probably slow the market down a bit. Nationwide HPI out of the U.K., uh, Spanish unemployment rate, CB industrial order expectations, durable goods here in the U.S. along with the weekly initial and continuing jobless claims numbers, natty gas at 10.30 here in the U.S., Treasury current report also at the same time, trade balance out of New Zealand that night, Tokyo core CPI and unemployment rate at 7.30, preliminary industrial production and retail sales out of Japan, import prices and PPI out of Australia, and then we're into Friday where we've got housing starts out of Japan, S&B, uh, Chairman Jordan speaking out of Switzerland. That's the Swiss National Bank, obviously. Uh, high Street Lending out of the UK. Italian 10-year bond auction. CB realized sales out of the UK. Advanced GDP. This is the first look at the first quarter's GDP number. This is a big one, so we'll be half size ahead of that 
uh, Thursday night going into Friday here in the U.S. because that's a major deal. That first look at GDP, it's not expected to be great, obviously. And revised University of Michigan sentiment. Charts, as usual, brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken the trial or services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple of weeks. Have a great trading for